Here we go, y'all. Check this out. How you feel about my boy right here? Is this a cry for help? Just under 400 songs that you wrote when you were inside. Okay. And you got a message for, for Puff Daddy right now. Facts. I'm saying, you know, got a lot of songs, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking for you, you know, so we can get, you know, some type of music situation going. You know? This is what it is, man. We need to get this thing going, man. So, you know, I'll let your boy, man. You know, let me know some type of way to con you know, to contact you. I mean, you know, we go through these joints, man, see what we're working with, man. It's, it's, it's there. And are you concerned, though, about he's got a lot on his mind with these legal issues and these cases right now? Does that worry you at all? Yeah, I know. I know he probably does, you know, have a, you know, a lot of a lot of issues, you know, a lot of things to deal with. Hold your head out there, you know what I mean? You know, and, um, you know, you know, hopefully, you know, if he still does music, I know, you know, some way down the line, you know, maybe he will, you know, have time for that. You know what I'm saying? All I need is a studio. You know what I mean? I mean, we could go over it. By the time I'm done, he'll probably be, you know, have everything situated, you know what I'm saying? You know, little 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 studios and you know, however the distribution is going, you know what I mean? And we can we get, you know what I mean? I'm making business, you know what I'm saying? Let me present the question real quick. Do you respect G Depp for his take as far as like not condemning Diddy for uncharged he's not charged yet, unproven accusations right now, or do you feel like he's a sucker? Like how Dub B said, damn shame. How you feel, Federal A, about that? Uh, maybe he still might be contractually obliged. To he's not. He's past 13 years. So, Federal how you feel about it, though? I'm not saying he's been locked up for 13 years, but see, a contract is a bonding agreement. Nah, he got so dropped. He signed a, say if he signed a five-album deal when he first Pump signed this deal. Pump dropped him. He, spoke, he speaks about that, too. Pump dropped oh, him. All right. Then I didn't know. All right. So then you're right. He didn't yeah, know. He, he's, he's, he's going the sucker route, though. If you want to be honest, you want to be totally honest, like, you know damn well you was there. Like, I understand you down bad, bro. You need some paper in your hand. But there's other people you can get money with. But he could. He, he already in the studio, bro. He, he released his independent. This is this is when he first, like, the second or third day he came home. He had, he he had money an album over the phone in jail that he released last week, my nigga. But if he wanted money, he could go to slander puff route and get all these YouTube interviews and get money that way. You see? You don't respect that? Nah, he, he, ain't, he ain't on that type of time. Look, he, he, he either got, I think he, I think he, I think he took a Shahada, you know what I'm saying? Because the album he made, he ain't even cursing, ain't no curse words or nothing in it, bro. Like he wants some real right shit. He holding to Puff. Why is he so worried what Puff has to say? Like maybe he feel like maybe he want he can save him or something. Hold on. Why, why, why does he have to do an album with Puff? Why does he have to construct? Because the history is there already, maybe. After history. Yeah, As, I, I was, I was, if you think about it, though, if you hit, like, I ain't front. Child of the Ghetto was a, 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 a good yeah. album. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. one of the most underrated albums, for sure. Oh, bad boy, my nigga. Dead ass. Oh, yeah. His rhyme patterns on that album, his beat selection. Everything, my nigga. The beat and all that. And that was I mean, curated by Puff. His rhyme pattern on a lot of those tracks is still hasn't been duplicated if you go listen to it. And it's Look, let's get it. A child of the ghetto, nobody explaining to me. The picture, the painting, that shit was fire, my nigga. That's not the only song. So we got a few songs. I know. Like, only and it's not the only song. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Share the live, y'all. We back. Hot, my nigga. We back on the and main channel. Honestly, you gotta understand, like, like if you go through the producing process, right? Puff had a hand on classics, nigga. Life after, ready to die. He had a hand in classic album, creating when classic album. Puff, Puff, regardless of what's going on, Puff put the hitmen together, my nigga. Okay, when was Puff the last classic? His last classic? Well, he won a Grammy for the Love album, but I have I never listened to it though. Yeah, me neither. When was his last classic? Uh, maybe the joint with Keisha Cole. What was that? Two thousand. Dirty Money. Ten, eleven. And I would call it a classic, but he got some songs that that age well on that on that album. Two thousand. Even that shit he made all fucking for himself. Um, after he watched Payton and Fool, they we calling himself Money Making Mitch. Babyface, what's up? Let me see. He said the new generation realize they don't need labels backing them, and this big dummy waiting on Puff. Well, you know he's from the old school. He might not know. You know. Yeah, I just feel like he probably don't know. G Dev never been the sharpest tool in the, in the in the shed, man. Like you know, he probably just wants to get back to the old feeling he had with Puff when they created those you know those big records. And he's like, you know, I know Puff might buy these songs off me, 
you know, say that's what he does too. I got 400 songs. He might like a few of these. I could sell a few to him, get my money up. I'm thinking he does. He he his kids. So is the nostalgia, basically. Yeah. He said, honestly, like, you, like, you gotta get. understand the creation, the creativity. Like, Puff got an ear for beats and shit like that. That might, that he probably felt like I had the creative process. When I created with Puff, the creative process was kind of was kind of good, and the product that came out was 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 was, was what I what I like. Yeah, that's for sure, definitely. I don't think he you could he could do a book, Angie, definitely with with the whole prison stint and all that. But you know, everybody don't got the the patience for a book, you know. Kobe Irving said, "I doubt you. Know, I don't know. You never know. You can't. We can't knock it until we hear it. He might have some songs that sound good. He was just locked up with a bunch of young boys, probably. Yeah, he definitely ain't thinking about G. Depp though. That's a fact, and that's for sure. It's a rap for him. He is definitely not thinking about no damn G. Depp. That's a hundred percent true. He doesn't need to worry about himself. 